you enjoyed the video so far, are they good? Yeah. Yeah, you like the video, you're doing well. And you're enjoying them. Well, that's brilliant. I wasn't sure if you liked them or not. And I'm taking my time with you know, like, yes. I know you're looking up there and posters up in the background. They're tractors. I like tractors, but anyway. <laughs> yes, not something most people enjoy. Sorry, sorry, they're there with a case in the background. Anyway, let's not look at them. <laughs> Yes, and that picture over there is a painting. I did a painting. It's called The Football Tragedy. <laughs> it's a weird old painting. <laughs> but I enjoyed painting it. It looks nice. I like it. But it's nuts. Yes. I'm trying the colour. The colour thing over here. I made it look like flowers. But anyway. Looks pretty better than it did before. So are you well? You are. Hmm. Very good. Hmm. I like it when you're well. I like it when everybody's happy. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. What do you want to hear me? My mouth very dry at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to drink a tea. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I don't know if people bother with mouth signs. Maybe so. think I would do a sound there earlier. I can't think of what I would do now. Can't quite remember. But I was doing a sound it already and I said I'd do that later but I can't remember what it was. Slipped my mind. I can't remember. I do it when I know I get dog. She does howl so I make a nurse sound and then she starts to talk. <laughs> can't think what it is now I would do it. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what will we get up tomorrow? Will we be knocking on some more bottles or boxes? Yes. I decided to put the names of the boxes I tap on to give you a bit more knowledge of what I would do. But um, some are boxes that I would use, some are where people buy food in boxes like different things. So. I tell them not to throw out the boxes, that I'll tap on them. And then my mother and father think of everything I can use to tap on. Some things I have to keep rejecting. I keep saying, that's great sound. I keep saying, oh, no, no, no. It doesn't give out good enough sound. Now, it might do if I had a microphone. But sometimes the things, the sound quality is too low. I do have another microphone over there. No, I can't plug it into the camera, but I can plug into the laptop. 
And I was thinking to myself, should I bring the laptop outside, you know? And plug the mic in and use the camera outside. That would be afraid of mine having to the computer out there, but I do have a battery at the moment, I'm not using a battery, but I could like, you know, use the battery outside. And actually Hmm, a plot, a plan, consider thoughts, what should we think about today, hmm, I wonder how many people are there about to go home up to late invention, somebody out there are probably thinking about right now, we're just sitting here unknowledgeable about what it is that's going to be coming out, going I know there's a lot of trysts in the air at the moment. And I hear my brother talking about recession. A lot of people are worried that we're going to go into a big recession like we did in 2006. My brother and many people are talking about it. So I have to be wondering what prompts these thoughts in their mind. I think it's only going to hit your book anyway. I think it has something to do with that, you know. The war. The war in Ukraine. They're going to pull us into a recession. Yes. But I think, like, it's only going to get us over here. Maybe lightly, I hope. I hope it's not as bad as my brother thinks. My older brother. He ends up a lot of knowledge. Be wondering what you know, something was made him think this way. He watches a lot of different politic programs, so you know, there's a lot of people giving views and ideas and what's dragging them down. But don't worry about it, we'll keep going forward, forward, and we'll be keep thinking and relaxing. You'll come up with new ideas. Every time something happens big, lots of people have new ideas, and that's what gets us all back on track. We'll be going forward, not back. We'll be moving forward, yeah. Uh, yeah, I love it, yeah. At the moment, a lot of cars around there are becoming electric. The whole track. I don't know what they're going to do because they made all the tractors so big. A lot of the tractors now come out in the late evening and night time but they're too big to come out in the daytime. The roads aren't big enough for them so. At the moment we have a lot of silage but being cut around here. Yes, grass. They could then put in a pit for cattle feed for the winter time. The only problem they, a lot of them can't drive when they're out in the daytime. The tractors are like very big, maybe 10 or 11 foot wide. The older tractors were more like 8 foot wide, so an extra couple of feet makes it impossible for them to, you know, cruise around on the under roads. So a lot of that's going on at the moment. But that's life, you know. It's all moving forward. And uh, then big machines, I think, will die out. I think we'll have to go back to the smaller structures. It's like cars, the big cars. I think they're going to end up. Maybe big cars will exist because there'll be more room for battery in them than the smaller cars. I feel might die out. Because they might have enough space for the battery to go in. But that's just my own opinion. For you a bigger battery to go for a distance, you'll need a bigger car with bigger wheels to carry the weight of the battery. Like if you ever picked up a car battery, they're very heavy. Now if you're going to have a load of battery in your car, you 
you're getting in smaller, like that big will be in your way. There you're gonna need slightly bigger wheel to be thinking about it. You're gonna need bigger space, like you need people buy cars because they need space in the pool. Now there's a lot of people out there who are living in cities and maybe don't need cars. Maybe they have jobs online or maybe they have jobs nearby where they don't need a car really, so maybe they'll be okay. But for a lot of other people, we live out in the country. We rely on cars, transport, you know, it's not always there. Like you can go one way, maybe you can get bus one direction, but you might be able to go to another direction and let you walk about two miles to get a different bus stop. Then if it rains, you're out in the weather, you're suffering. I think there needs to be a lot more more infrastructure for all these new infrastructure and all these for electronic vehicles. So I'm wary because of electric vehicles, you know. I'm always afraid that they'll cause cancer. Here they're gonna need to talk about cancer. People getting cancer with dead mobile phones. A lot of people don't have to know cancer but very limited. Remember since mobile phones and more power lines and everything and power masts and telephone masts and all coming around it seemed to be a more common thing and uh, that makes me think I want to be careful about electric cars because if you're sitting in a car on top of a giant battery one would be wondering if they put an awful lot of electric into your body that you don't need. As it is, you know, I, I watched a few documentaries there in America where people wanted their right to work on motor cars. Or electric, but people were saying you couldn't work on them. So in the documentary, you know, I wanted to take the, the battery and the motor part in the cars. But it turns out this, the people who built the cars said they didn't really have a problem with people working on the cars but the problem was the only thing they had against was that a lot of radiation comes off the battery card when you open them up and you're basically taking your own life in your hand if you work on them so when a car breaks down, an electrical car they said you have to replace the whole car if it gets flood damage, if it gets any minor job, they can't really mend it, so the car ends up being brought to a lot and left there, and you get a new one, kind of, uh, that's not like you have to fix it, that's a problem. Now, JC, there's a company called um, JCB, and they brought out a new engine called a uh, hydro static, and a hydro engine that runs off water, but they said, for all the people that are trained mechanics, they'll be still able to work on the engine because it'll be like an ordinary engine that works off fuel. And therefore, anybody with mechanical skills will be able to you know, work on them, which is pretty cool if you think about it. So, it produces clean air and water, which kind of like does like a tree, you know. Except of course the tree needs the water. But uh, if you think about it, like, yeah, you probably could nearly recycle the water. Not need back into it, only that it needs to be pressurised when it goes in. It has to be pressurised into the tank. But other than that, you probably could like, have some sort of a tank fitted for the water to be in the car to you go home. Where you could water plants or something. But I um, am recycle it into the wash machine. It'll be clean more, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I like their idea more. You know, I, I think that's the most better view than going for electric. I think the hydro one, the hydro war engine, like they have already designed it. Just look up JCB hydro engine and you'll see what I mean. 
they're building it where they're big diggers, but once they start building them in diggers and tractors, when they get going, they'll start putting them in cars. Electric cars do worry me, like I say, but a lot of people are buying them. Well, if you want to buy them, great, but they do say that to make them, it's just as completed as if you had a diesel or petrol, so I'm a little bit skeptical against all of that. But I do think the hydro engine will be the way forward in the end. It's kind of weird when you think way back when everything ran on, you know, everything was like steam and now we're going back to war. You know, like electrical health problems in some ways. But then again, that's just, I suppose, everything has problems sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry about my breathing a bit heavy on the just realised that's a mistake I made the last time. I was too close. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this video. Bye. And uh, I hope the one is not too bad. I hope I haven't burned too much on the air. You drive people mad and I will get shot.